Hello everybody, this is Kyoshi here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Bendai Ichiban Sho Sailor Moon Eternal, the Princess Serenity figure. So without further ado, let's get started. We'll take a look at the packaging first. The packaging is pretty tall. Um, here is Princess Serenity, pretty cool. Here's more look of Princess uh, Serenity. Cool, here's the top, awesome. I got it for around 45 bucks. This is one of the uh, popular Ichiban Sho Sailor Moon figures out there at the moment. That's why I decided to get purchase one and then just to review it and take a look um, to see why it's so popular. Uh, this figure has been very popular among uh, Sailor Moon collectors. I'm not a huge Sailor Moon fan, so I actually don't really know who Princess Serenity is. I'm sure she is probably the advanced version of Princess... I mean, not Princess, Sailor Moon herself, right? Because she looks exactly like Sailor Moon. So I assume she's either, um, like, the advanced or um, the evolved version of that. Anyways, uh, um, forgive me, you know, but leave your comments down below if you guys know who Princess Serenity is. And um, I'm, I'm curious to learn more about it. But yeah, just based on the figure itself, once you open the package, the figure comes in two parts. One with the, uh, the base or yeah, and also the Princess Serenity herself. Um, the base, it's very cool. Here we have all the read-ups in the bottom. That's nice. It's like one of those uh, Greek, like Greece architects here looking pretty saint-like. Um, it is hollow, however. It is not like heavy, heavy, but it feels good. And here is the figure herself. Um, yeah, here is the pearl washed um, high heels. And then all the skirts is white with little gold plated here and there. All these gold uh, colors. And then um, the butterfly um, thingy looks pretty. And here's the hair. The hair is made with very soft, uh, soft plastic. And then the expression, the face, I think looking pretty cute. And then, um, yeah, I don't know uh, if this is how accurate it is to Princess Serenity in anime. Um, but she looks pretty, you know. Um, I mean, at least I like it the way it looks. And here we have the necklace there. Um, I mean, with all the Ichiban Show figures, you can't expect them to be perfectly painted or sculpted or stuff like that. It, it, these are prize figures in Japan. Um, but um, I think it's decent, you know. I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and then you just have her sit on top of this beautiful... Um, display base and here we have princess heredity i will do a 360 here um i think she's pretty cute i like the poster very cute and i just know this figure has been very popular i've seen a lot of people having it uh, in their collections um yeah for a good reason i got it for 45 the price is okay you know if this is a really nice figure um i feel like um the price is not bad but if it's under 40 dollars you know i feel like it will be better but um, still, it's pretty cool. It's decent size, good weight to it. And the whole poster is what I really like about this figure. I think it's very ladylike, uh, very saint-like. It's like those moon pr princess, if you know what I mean. Pretty cool. I like how the hair is sculpted. Um, yeah, but the best part is definitely the facial expression. She looks very pure, uh, just very beautiful in general. Yep, so here is my review of the Bandai Ichiban, Ich <laughs> Bandai Ichiban Sho. Sailor Moon Eternal, the Princess Serenity figure. Um, I think it's pretty cool. If you can get your hands on, if you're a Sailor Moon fan, I think you should get it. Um, I mean, no wonder this figure is this popular. It's very beautiful, you know. I think uh, it's very nice to display. I will give it away to uh, somebody in my family who is a huge Sailor Moon collector, Sailor Moon fan. Um, but um, I think it's pretty cool. It's worth collecting. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.